And welcome back, Haskey here with another guide for Banjo-Kazooie. Today's walkthrough is on getting extra honeycomb pieces on Freeze Easy Peak. This is a pretty good one. I think both of these extra honeycomb pieces are pretty well hidden. FYI, you'll be needing the ability to fly on today's walkthrough. That, of course, is done by unlocking it in Treasure Trove Cove. By now, you probably already have that. If not, so make sure to go grab that if you want the extra honeycomb pieces on this map. And in addition to that, you'll also need the Beak Bomb ability, which is given to you on this map. Actually, just a few steps behind us now. And the first honeycomb piece is actually going to be located in one of these snowmen guys, which is kind of interesting. We, don't, we haven't had a, an extra honeycomb piece where you've had to kill an enemy yet. So that's sort of unique. So there it is. Not too bad, once you know where it is. If you didn't know where it is, you could be looking for quite a while, I think. And the other one is actually going to require the walrus form. This is actually the first instance in our extra honeycomb piece guide where we've actually needed an animal form. The only other one that was kind of close was Mumbo's Mountain, but you can kind of cheat that one, if you will. It wasn't strictly necessary, I guess. So I'll go ahead and hop in here, apparently take a swipe at Mumbo and transform into the walrus. That sweet, sweet walrus form. And heading back outside now, we will start the long walk to the other side of the map as we waddle along here. Fun fact that I'm not going to go into too much detail about because I don't want to spoil it. Um, there's actually another form that you can put yourself in in order to do this, in order to get the second extra honeycomb piece on Freeze Easy Peak. A certain form that uh, you can use in all maps. It's not, it's not Banjo-Kazooie, it's something else. A certain wishy-washy form, if you know what I'm talking about. A certain form that doesn't uh, take damage in the cold or the prana water or anything like that. Again though, not going to spoil that. If you know, you know. If you don't, you're probably confused, but that's fine. Anyway, enough about that. Here we are at the Walrus Cave. Waza, Waza, Waza. He's going to let us in now, now that we're a walrus. Thank you, sir. Thank you, good sir. Appreciate it. And we're going to hop in here, and off to the left-hand side, as, as we look at it here, there's going to be a little tiny tunnel kind of hidden away down in this pool of icy water. Now, if, if I recall correctly, Banjo-Kazooie can fit into this little area here, but um, you'll pretty much never make it all the way to the back side of the cave just because of how much damage you'll take just from the cold water. So that's kind of why you need that walrus form. But anyway, there it is. Extra honeycomb piece number two for freeze easy peak. I love this room, by the way. I can I can never stop myself from <laughs> stopping and going into sea up and taking a look around. I love those crystals. Anyway, though, that's going to do it for our extra honeycomb piece guide for freeze easy peak. Thank you so much for watching. Coming up next is going to be Gobi's Valley. Stay tuned. Look forward to it. And I will see you in the next video.